I don't believe that he would have allowed that to happen, it just wasn't to his advantage to allow that, the president said. President Donald Trump on Thursday said he trusted North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's assurance that he was unaware of the circumstances leading to the 2017 death of Otto Warmier, the American student imprisoned by North Korea. He tells me he didn't know about it, and I will take him at his word, Trump said at a news conference held at the end of a two-day nuclear summit in Hanoi, Vietnam. Warmier was a student at the University of Virginia when he was arrested in 2016 while on a trip to North Korea. He was accused of stealing a propaganda poster from his hotel and sentenced to 15 years of hard labor following a sham trial. In June 2017, after months of lobbying, Warmier was returned to the U.S. But he was in a vegetative state and died soon after. Trump said Thursday that he didn't believe Kim, whose regime is accused of a laundry list of human rights violations, would have ordered the mistreatment of Warmier. What happened is horrible. I really believe something really bad happened to him, and I don't think the top leadership knew about it. The president told reporters after his second summit with Kim, adding that I did speak about it and I don't believe that he would have allowed that to happen, it just wasn't to his advantage to allow that to happen. Dottie later doubled down on Kim's denial and said he trusted Kim was telling the truth. He felt badly about it. I did speak to him, he felt very badly. Trump said. He knew the case very well but knew it later. And you know, you've got a lot of people, a big country, and in those prisons and those camps you have a lot of people, and some really bad things happen to Otto, some really really bad things. Dot since his overtures to North Korea began, Trump has caught heat for his reluctance to pressure Pyongyang over human rights violations like Warmier's detainment. Earlier in the day on Thursday, the president insisted that the two leaders were discussing everything during the summit, including human rights. But his comments Thursday were still remarkable, especially in light of his rhetoric on the situation in the past. In September 2017, a few months after Warmier's death, Trump praised Warmier's parents for an interview they gave to Fox News. Otto was tortured beyond belief by North Korea, he wrote in a tweet.